Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's just go ahead. Let's just start appreciating our Heavenly Father. Welcome to Faithful Healing and Healing School. Malabo Bush. Please praise Him. Praise Him. Give Him praise. Lord, we we'll appreciate you. We we'll thank you, Father. We give you praise. We we'll thank you for the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The name that is above all other names. Amen. The name that is above coronavirus or whatever deadly virus, whatever deadly disease. Amen. We exalt the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. this morning, this afternoon. Amen. Lord, we pray for everyone that are suffering from terminal conditions. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command healings. Amen. We command restoration. Amen. We command healings Amen. of their cells. Amen. Healings of their organs. Amen. Healings of their tissues. Amen. We release the healing grace of God Amen. upon them now. Amen. To that person that just received a bad medical report. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we turn it around Amen. for good. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, I'm hearing this word from a spirit. He said, you shall not die, Amen. but live Amen. and declare the works of the Lord. To that person, you know, he just received uh, a medical report in which is seriously <laughs> perplexing, seriously uh, troubling. But the word of the Lord to you is, you shall not die, but live and declare the works, the works of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Because Hallelujah. in place of our death, through sickness, Jesus took it and 
died for us. Amen. And give us life. And give us life. Hallelujah. So what he has done, what he has done, or what he has carried, we don't have to carry again. No. Glory to God. What he has borne, we don't have to bear again. Mm. That's why we that's why the word of God says, for himself took. <laughs> I love that. Himself took. So what he has taken, we don't need to take again. He took our sicknesses, our diseases. Even the unknown disease. Amen. Even the unknown disease. Because the word of God, the word of the Lord says in Deuteronomy 28, you know, in, in um you know there's somebody that you're watching you are so much afraid of fear I mean you are so much afraid of this that is going on right now you know this coronavirus <laughs> but the word of the Lord to you is fear not for I am with you <laughs> glory to God fear not for I am with you now here's the thing the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord you know and in that particular Deuteronomy 28 it said even for all of the diseases that are not even written in, in this book. in this book, <laughs> I'm telling you. Hallelujah. You know, you know. By training, I'm a physician. You know, I like science and medical sciences. I like it. Glory to God. Now, here's the thing: there are diseases that are known now. There are diseases that are yet to be known. There are diseases that are yet to be discovered. You know, in medical sciences, we cause something idiopathic, which means we don't know the cause. So, which means. The discovery of the of the pathogen or of the disease causing organisms or whatever it is has not been known. <laughs> so probably it's going to be known. But here's the great news: Jesus redeemed us from them. Damn, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Glory, Glory to, God. to God. He redeemed us from them. Not going to. He so already did. He already did. He said, by his stripes, ye were healed. Hallelujah. By his stripes. Ye were healed. Glory to in God. the New Testament, I think first Peter I said, yeah. by his stripes. Yeah, first Peter ye, ye yeah. were healed. That's right. So if we were healed, glory. Then we are healed. Healed now. Oh, I love that. I love that. If we were, because if language means anything, yeah. where means is already done, it's yes. completed. Mm -hmm. So if we were, we are healed. Yes. So which means something that has been done. If it's been done, it's been done. Glory to God. And if we are going to look at it in, in la language, mm -hmm. we're healed That's was right. past perfect. Amen. So it was done and it was done. It doesn't have to be done again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love it's that. It's done. Hallelujah. Past perfect. Hallelujah. Which means it's complete. Complete. Not a missing, not a broken. Mm -mm. Because our redemption from sickness. It is complete. Now, what do I mean by it is complete? I just, I just said, by training, I'm a medical doctor. You know, when we talk about disease, there are things that are the cause of it. You know, in medical sciences, before we can initiate what we call a line of management, we need to understand what is the cause and understand how the cause usually affects the disease. You know, I'm not going to bore you too much with medical terminology, but I'm, I'm just explaining to you what it is. So how the how the cause has affected the disease? Some of those diseases releases a terrible toxins, <laughs> you know, terrible toxins that would alter the way the body works, which is one of what this coronavirus is doing. But here's the thing: the word of the Lord says we are redeemed from the cause of the law. We are redeemed from those. Glory to God. And here's the thing, Tina. Something that I love. The word of the Lord says, if the spirit of him that raised Christ Jesus from the dead Hallelujah. lives in us, he that raised Christ from the dead shall what? Shall quicken, so quicken our mortal, mortal bodies. bodies. Hallelujah. Shall quicken our mortal bodies. And that so, quicken means it will make alive. Alive. Glory to God. And actually, you see that word, the life there, is actually the zoe life mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. The nature of God. The life of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The life of God. So when the life of God is being made manifest in our body, is what is going to swallow up what death. death. Hmm. It's going to what swallow up death. Hallelujah. Immortality. I mean, mortality will be swallowed up by what by immortality. immortality. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. It will be swallowed up by immortality. Why? Because the life of God. It is the it is the greatest antidote for any deadly disease, any virus. Let me repeat. Let me repeat that again. The life of God, the Zoe life of God, it is the greatest antidote for any deadly disease. For any deadly disease. Viruses, pathogen, bacteria, weaponized, bacteria, weaponized, whatever it is. It is the antidote. And guess what? The word of God says, He that has the Son has the life. life. Woo! 
<laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. He that has the son has, has the, life. the life. You know, let's let's look in there. Let's look in there. For, first, uh, first John. Thank you, Jesus. He that has the life has. I mean, he that has the son has the life. So, which means if you and I, if we are born again, we've got the Zoe of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love that. The Zoe of God. We've got the Zoe of God. Thank you, Jesus. First John, first John 5. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He that has the Son has the life of God. Glory to God. Let me know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's in 1 John 5. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. First huh? John 5 12. First John 5 12. Yes. Thank you, Lord. First John 5 12. I'm telling you, this is powerful. Look at what it says. Thank you, Lord. And this is the testimony from verse 11. I love it. I love the way it started from verse 11. And this is the testimony that God has given us what? Eternal, Eternal life. life. Eternal life. And that life what? Is Zoe. The life of God. The Hallelujah. nature of God. The life of God. The same thing that make God to be in existence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why we can say we are his own children. Amen. That's why we can say we're his own, his, own, his own children, his own children. Why? Because we've got his life in, in us. us. Hallelujah. Let's put it this way, scientifically. We've got his DNA, DNA in us. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. His DNA. And this DNA has the ability to quench any disease. Hallelujah. Has the ability to bring a life. You know somebody's kidney is being brought back to life right now. It is actually right. Amen. You just, I mean, it's definitely right. You just be diagnosed with it. It's been brought back to life. Your right kidney brought back to life. Why? Because you've got the life of God, Amen. the Zoe of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we've got this life of God, the Zoe of God. I'm telling you. You know, one of the definitions of this life is the state of one who is possessed vitality. Hallelujah. <laughs> vitality. Vitality. You see, the life has the ability to give every dead cells in our body what life. vitality life Amen. Mm. life and he said you see the word of god is god speaking to us now the word of god is god speaking to us now he said they and this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life mm. and this life is in his son <laughs> glory to god is in the sun. So, which means, if you're a believer, you have the life of God. You don't have to be afraid of a coronavirus. I just told you, this life is, is the life that God possesses himself. Because you're a child of God. So, you have this life in you. Yes. So, walking in this understanding, walking in this understanding is what? is going to release the life. Yes. Because the Bible says, if the spirit of him that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwells, in, dwells in us. And thank God, the Holy Ghost lives in us. In us. Oh! That's the spirit of him that is Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. So that self same spirit will quicken, quicken our mortal body, which means that part, the mortal body means that part of our body, that part of us hmm. that can decay, that can, that can, decay. can die, that's subject to death. Hmm. So, but the spirit of God that lives in us Hallelujah. is going to make life available. Glory God. Glory Hallelujah. God. Because the he said, if the spirit of him that is Christ Jesus from the dead. The Holy Spirit made life available to the dead body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it brought into life. life. Hallelujah. Being dead for three days and three nights. Mm. Mm. It brought him back to life. Now, the, 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 the body of our Lord Jesus Christ today, Jesus is not a spirit. He has what? A glorified body. But Yet, we don't see him in the physical. So, you know, remember when he, he arose, he said, I'm not a ghost. Touch me. Glory to God. After he has, has ascended to, to your father, our, our father, he has presented his blood to the father for eternal redemption for us. He came back. He even told them, he said, do you have meat to, uh, do you have something food? So, it's not a spirit. He has a glorified body. Mm -hmm. Yet, we don't see him on with the physical. So, which means the life of God brought the dead body of our Lord Jesus Christ back to life. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's why he said that. He said, if the spirit of him that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwells in you, in you, he that raised Christ from the dead shall also, look this, shall also, look, let, let's, let's, let's look there, let's look there. You know, we're going we're gonna to come back to this. Shall also, Romans 8, 11. Glory to God. So we should not expect anything less 
anything less. Men, God, those. I'm telling you, please go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video. Thank you, Lord. King James, thank you, Lord. Look at what it says. He said, But if, Romans 8 11, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus, I love that, raised up, raised up, somebody's body is being quickened right now. Your hearts. Because you have a heart condition. Or to anyone that has heart condition, just believe this. Your body is being quickened. Your heart is being quickened right now. The life of God is being manifest in your heart. I'm telling you, that heart is receiving the life of God. It's being raised back to life. There is no any tiredness, abnormal tiredness. Why? Because the life of God just goes to your heart right now. Heals every dead tissues. Either from previous stroke or previous heart attack. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hearts receive the life of God now. Glory to God. Look at what he says. He said, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead, from the dead, from the dead, dwell in you. The word of God says, for we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. He said, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So the mighty Holy Spirit lives in us. Please go ahead, go ahead. I know you got something to say there. Go ahead. He said, and if, mm. um, I'm going to read from verse 9. He said, you, yes. however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Yes. If indeed the mm. spirit of God lives in you. Hallelujah. Now, if any man does not have the spirit of Christ, it mm. does not belong to him. Mm. And if Christ is in you, mm. though the body is dead because of sin, the mm. spirit is alive because of righteousness. Hallelujah. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, mm. he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies Hallelujah. through his spirit that lives in you, mm. which means we have to believe. Hallelujah. Because I was looking at the word if, if, yeah. if, if. That's right. So we have to believe that mm. we are the righteousness of God in Christ. We have to believe Hallelujah. that the spirit of him who raised Christ from the dead lives, lives in us. In us. And we have to confess it. Glory to God. We have That's to right. declare it. That's right. To activate that power. He mm. said, then he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body. Hallelujah. We have to believe that. Mm. It doesn't matter what is happening out there. I have the life of Christ. Hallelujah. Me. Glory to Praise God. I love that. Let, please, repeat, lead us in that confession. Leave us in that confession. I love that. I love Amen. that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That it does not matter what is happening out there. It does not matter what is happening out there. I have the life of Christ. I have the life of Christ in me. In me. And since and since the spirit of Him, the spirit of Him who raised Jesus, who raised Jesus from the dead, from the dead lives in me. Lives in me. He who raised Christ, He who raised Christ from the dead, from the dead. We also give life. We also give life to my mortal body. To my mortal body through His spirit. Through His spirit that lives in me. That lives in me. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm telling you, that's powerful. See. The blessings of the Lord is not just going to fall on us like that. We have to know it. We have to believe it. Mm. We have to confess it. Yes. You know, yes. declaring it. Declaring it. So the Holy Spirit lives in us. He said, if the Spirit, if the Spirit, I just love the way that shall yeah. also. Mm -hmm. He said, but if the Spirit of him that raised Christ, Romans 8, 11, people of God. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead, Dwell in you, he that the raised up Christ from the dead shall also, which means in addition to raising Christ from the dead, is also going to do that for you. Who Amen. Hallelujah. Sakali. Ba, 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 ba. The same way he raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead shall also quicken, make life available, quicken Hallelujah. our what our mortal bodies, Shakali, ba, 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 ba. quickens our mortal bodies. So there is nothing like uh, there is nothing like well, my this doctor already told me that they don't, there is no hope for me, or doctor already told me that there is no way I can come out of this. There is nothing like that. Why? Because we've got the spirit of Him that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. He lives in us. Yes. Mm. You know, as I said, by training, I'm a medical doctor, so I understand medical sciences. But here's the thing: 
that is a power that is beyond the medical sciences. You can quote me anywhere. That's Dr. Tade said, there is a power that is beyond the medical sciences and it is the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Medical sciences has limitations, but not with God. There is no limitation with God. So it doesn't matter what the report has been. You are coming out. Amen. You are coming out of that Scalienda Baladoso mm. Frande de Gredoshko. You know somebody on the sick bed. You know, you have been laying down on that sick bed. You know, it's almost like you are, you are it's almost like you are giving up. But thus says the Lord, look unto my son who already took your sicknesses. Amen. Oh. Amen. So your declaration should be, your confession should be, he took my sicknesses. And bought my diseases. Now, in medical sciences, when we talk about sicknesses and diseases, you know, by training, my, my wife too, she's a registered nurse. When we talk about sicknesses and diseases, you know, plural, there are sicknesses of the respiratory system, cardiovascular, nervous system, reproductive, which means all of the systems of the body, sicknesses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even the ones that we have known, even the ones that are yet to be discovered or to be known. Because as I said, before we say go and do this go and do that we have to know what is the cause because our 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 management is targeting the cause of That's the disease right. so if we can eliminate the cause symptoms everything will go away we go away and jesus already bought all of those for us thank you he bought everything for us. He bought everything for us. So which means what he has taken. Why should I take it again? So and that is why what that is where the fight of faith comes in. You see, our blessings are not just going to come upon us like a ripe mango off the tree. You've got a part to play. I've got a part to play. So which means you have to rise up and declare and say, this is who I am in Christ. This is what Jesus has done for me. The sickness, I don't need to be again. The disease, I don't need to be again. Why? Because he has borne it. He has taken it. Go ahead, I get you. You have something to say. Go ahead. He says, shall also, shall also, shall also, shall also, the same way the Holy Ghost made life available in the dead body of our Lord Jesus Christ that brought him back to life. Mm. He said the Holy Spirit will also do the it's, same thing for us. And this life swallows up what? Mortality. Because the life is immortality. So because you are a believer, you don't have to be afraid of coronavirus. Mm. And you don't have to keep your mouth shut also. <laughs> what do I mean? You don't have to be saying, well, I mean, you don't have to, so you, don't, you don't have to keep and your mouth shut, which means you have to what? Be saying what, what God the is, saying. is saying. What the word of God is saying. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be saying what the word of God is saying. So you have to resist fear. Mm -hmm. Fear. Mm -hmm. Because one of the weapons of the devil is fear. Even there are people that this virus wouldn't have, I mean, I haven't even touched. But <laughs> inwardly, they are already dead. Because That's of fear. His invitation. That's the devil's invitation letter. That's right. Once you allow fear, you've mm. invited him in. Mm. Just like faith will invite God, God. fear will invite the devil. Mm. 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 So we have to be careful what we say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to be careful about what we say. Number one, you don't have to keep your mouth shut, which means not declare what God has said. And also, watch what you say. Mm -hmm. Because the devil is, is using this time. He knows that, as I said, there are people that even the virus will not touch. But yes... Fear is going to kill them. Kill them. <laughs> fear is going to kill them. And the, the word of God says, For God has not given us what? The spirit, the spirit of, of fear, fear, but of love and of power oh. and of a sound oh, mind. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. Let's go back to that first John, to that first John 5, 5 12. Thank you, Jesus. Please go ahead and share this video. I'm telling you, this is spiritual, this is divine healing. Amen. <laughs> and this what? This is the greatest antidote. This is the greatest antidote to that coronavirus. Hallelujah. Which is what? The word of the God. The word of God. I'm telling you. The word of God. First John. Thank you, Jesus. If, please go ahead and read it. First John 5. From verse... Uh, you can read it from verse 11. Okay. 
And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. Mm. And this life is in a son. Hallelujah. Whoever has the son has life. Mm. And whoever does not have the son of God does not have life. Oh, I love that. So it's, it's, it's so simple. But here's what it says, Tina, in verse 12. It says, you who has the son has, has life. life. And this life here is the Zoe that we are talking about. Mm. The nature, the life of God. What makes God to be God? God. <laughs> what makes him to be God is nature. And guess what? Because we have the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, we have the Zoe in us. Amen. It is a mark that these are my own children. You cannot touch them. So which means we have to rise up and say, I've got the life of God in me. Hallelujah. The Zoe, the very nature of God. Hallelujah. The same way the Holy Spirit made this life available in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, and it brought him back to life. Hallelujah. The same way, whatever might be the dead cells, the dead tissues in my body, they have been brought back to life. And here's the thing, Tina. The word of God has power to what? To, to heal now, and also what? To defend. That's right. Mm, mm. To defend. Mm. So which means, that is why you don't, we, you say every one of us, don't wait until you have been attacked with exactly. sickness, yeah, then you start confessing healing yeah. scriptures. No. No, don't wait. You know, there are two main ways that I believe that the devil always wants to strike. In the area of finance and in the area of healing. Healing and health. Healing and health. Those two areas. Because he knows that if you don't have the money, then you can't even do anything. <laughs> poverty can kill. Just like this, deadly disease can kill. Mm -hmm. what, what do we mean by poverty can kill? If the person is taken to the hospital without insurance... Or in places where there are no insurance that you have to pay your cash. You don't have the cash. And some hospitals will tell you that, well, go and bring the money. Even when the person is dying. Yeah, even what about you not having money and you fall into depression? Fall into depression. Exactly. Not having money and fall into depression. Which means the depression what can kill. Because from People depression. Have committed suicide. Yes. Because of their situation. Mm. So poverty can kill. That's right. People have committed suicide because of their situation. Some people committed suicide because maybe they lost huge money. And they just can't see way out again. Mm -hmm. They just feel the best way is to just what? End their lives. You see? That is why it is, the, it is the lie of the devil to say being poor is being holy. It is a deception because the devil kills. The word of God says, he said, the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come, that you may have it, and have life, and have it in abundance. You know that translation that says, he said, my purpose, <laughs> my purpose is to give you life, life, and so that you can have it, what? In abundance. That's the what, purpose of God. So don't say, poverty, how can it kill? We just explain. Now, the devil knows that if you, you know to that person, you don't have to be afraid. Trust in the word of God. The word has the power to set you free. Amen. To make you whole. Amen. Glory to God. So, he said, He who has the son has life. That's powerful. That's powerful. He who has the son has life. life. So, which means, I've got the son in me. I've got the life of God in me. Hallelujah. And this life, can form a defense, a wall of defense, a protection mm -hmm. against what any deadly virus. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 illustrated, I illustrated this sometimes ago. A man of God, John G. Lake, you know, when he was in South Africa, there was this bubonic plague. They were affecting people, attacking people. And guess what he did? He was using his bare hands to even bury them. So they were concerned. Aren't you afraid of this virus? He said, I've got the life of God in me. Hallelujah. He said, once those life touches my, I mean, once those uh, disease pathogen, uh, disease virus touches my body, is what? It, it, it swallows them up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they said, really? And they took some of the foam that those, those uh, people, they took it and they put it into his hand and he squeezed it this way. And they looked under the microscope. They found out all of those viruses what were dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, there is always something. If 
we don't give ourselves to the word of God, to the things of God, the things of God is gonna is gonna seem to us as far fetched. <laughs> I'm telling you. When it's close to us, hmm. it's in our mouth, Hallelujah. in our heart, and in our hmm. mouth. Hmm. Hallelujah. 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 It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna seem that way. But the more we are giving ourselves to the word of God by the help of the Holy Spirit, then the reality of God, of God's word, of his power Amen. will be getting done on us. Amen. 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 Look at Psalm 91. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 91. Hallelujah. Psalm 91. You have been redeemed from deadly virus, from deadly disease. Amen. You have been redeemed. The word of God says no evil shall befall you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 91. Hallelujah. From verse 1. Please go ahead and read. Psalm 91. Yes. It says, He who dwells mm. in the shelter or secret place of the Most High Hallelujah. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm. Mm. Now, those who dwell in the shelter of the, they are those who believe. That's right. That's right. That's right. Said, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Mm. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter Hallelujah. and from the deadly pestilence. Mm. He shall cover you with his feathers mm. and under, under his wings you shall find protection. Hallelujah. His faithfulness shall be your shield and wall. Mm. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, Hallelujah. nor of the arrow that flies by day. Mm. Nor of the pestilence that pursues in darkness. Wow. Nor of the destruction that strikes at mm. noonday. Mm. A thousand may fall at your side mm. and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Hallelujah. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Glory. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, mm. even the most high, your, your dwelling. There shall no evil befall you, mm. neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. Mm. They shall bear you up in their hands. Hallelujah. Lest you strike your foot against a stone. Mm. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The Hallelujah. young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Mm. Because he has set his love upon me. Hallelujah. Therefore I will deliver him. Hallelujah. I will set him on high because he has known my Thank name. Jesus. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him mm. and show him my salvation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's powerful. That's Hallelujah. powerful. I think the best way, <laughs> the best way That's right. to enjoy and realize the import of this psalm is to personalize it. That's right. Make it a, 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 a personal message from message. God. Where you see you, 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 see, just put I, I, me, me, me. Mm. Read it to yourself every day. You just said the word of God is like a defense. That's right. You don't have to have sickness. You don't have to have the attack mm. before you build the wall, the wall of defense mm. around yourself mm. and your family mm. with the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, just think about it, Tina. If we all constantly read this out loud and personal, read it out loud, now personalize it mm -hmm. over and over, over and over again. The word of God says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You see, when things are troubling our mind, it is not just using your will, just pushing, pushing, pushing. No, you have to, we, have, we all have to go towards to higher power. Amen. And release that higher power to help us to form a super, supernatural de defense. Amen. So don't just say, wait, I'm not a of virus, I'm not a of virus, but what is, what is it that you've got? What is the, what is the alternative that you've got? Mm, mm. So the alternative that we've got concerning the fear of virus is the word of God. So which means we should go into the word. The word of God says, say, my son, attend to my words. Incline your ears unto my sin. Let them not depart from your ears. Amen, amen. Let them not depart from your eyes. So which means the more we are reading this, just imagine this, Tina. He who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We keep, we keep, we keep, we keep, we keep uh, 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 reading this, reading this, reading this, reading this. What is going to happen? We are building faith on our inside. Then we are building a wall of defense around us. Yeah. And declaring the word of God Thank is Jesus. one sure way of entering into that secret that's place. Right, that's, right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Praise the Lord. Because Jesus said, he, 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 I mean, the, Jesus said that he who abides in me, he said, if you abide in me and my words abide, abide in, in you, you, you shall ask what you will. And it shall be done unto you. Yes. 
So if you abide in me, my words abide. So which means the word abiding in us is we abiding in him. Yes. The word abiding in us is we being dwelling in a secret, secret place. place. Because his word, the Bible says, the name of the Lord is the strong the tower. tower. That's what God's word has said. Amen. 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 You know, I love that uh, topic that we are looking at in our faithful Holy Ghost hour. God has said. And this is what God has said right now. Amen. Concerning Amen. this circumstance, Amen. this situation that is going around right now, mm-hmm. God has said, He said, no evil shall befall you. Now look at look at uh, uh, amplified of uh, I mean um, amplified version of that ninety one verse one, Psalm ninety one verse one. He said, "He who he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, you're gonna love this, see that, shall remain stable, Hallelujah, and fixed, Amen." So, which means in times of trouble, in times of whatever is going on, it's not moved. It's not moved. Why? Because God's word is his anchor. Amen. God's word is his defense. God's word is his shield. shield. He has taken up. He has taken up faith. Amen. 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 Above everything, which is what? The shield. shield. Hallelujah. Shandu. The blessed place of righteousness, which was the shield of faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said in verse, he said, surely. Surely. Hallelujah. He shall deliver you. <laughs> That's the verse, verse 3, right? Yes. Look at what Amplify says here. You're going to love it again. <laughs> He said, verse 2, let me read from verse 2. He said, Amplified Classic, people of God, we are reading Psalm 91, verse, verse, uh, from verse 2. He said, I, actually, let's read it from that verse 1. There's something I want to bring up from that verse 1. He said, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty. Listen to this. Whose power no foe can withstand. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. Ah! Whose power no, no foe, foe can withstand? Who? Sickness is an enemy. It's a foe. It's a foe. Satan is an enemy. And if you don't believe it, we are, we are, we are, we are, I'm a trained physician. He's a trained registered nurse. I'm also a practicing nurse. So we understand what disease can do to human body, hmm. to family. The disease kills if we don't stand against it. It destroys. He said, Who's no foe can withstand? So, Coronavirus cannot withstand the power of God. I'm going to say that again. And I will say it again and again. Coronavirus cannot withstand the power of God. Coronavirus cannot withstand the power of God. Coronavirus cannot withstand the power of God. Power of God. Or not any deadly virus or any deadly bacteria cannot. Not any nuclear bomb, nuclear atomic energy, whatever. Cannot, nor any radioactive power cannot withstand the power of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, just send the power of God come upon me. Say that. Glory to God, because God confirming His word. Amen. Amen. I'm Amen. telling you. He said, Whose power no foe can withstand? Verse 2. Now it says, He said, I will say of the Lord. You see that? The declaration, the same. That is why this time around, don't keep quiet. Get into Psalm 91. Read it. You are not saying it in fear. You are forming a defense. First of all, if you are fearful, fearful take, I mean, take authority over fear because God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and of power of a sound man. So he said, fear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Leave me alone. Leave. So what, what is this? Begin to declare his word. He said, I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. Fortress means like there is there is there is, there is a thick wall or a thick ever fortress a strong. I mean, a strong wall in which nothing can penetrate and we're not talking about physical wall this time around we're talking, talking about, about the power that no folk can withstand, can withstand. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah he said he is my refuge and my fortress my god on him i lean he. i rely and in him i, I confidently trust, trust. I love that word. Confidently trust, which means he is the most powerful. He has the power that coronavirus cannot withstand. He has angels that excel in strength. That when I'm flying, wherever I'm going, he's with me. He has power that can kill any powerful, no, I mean, to man, non powerful agents of disease instantly. When that power comes to our, I mean, when the power of, the, of those agents come to our body, the life of God swallows them up. Yeah. 
Paul says, I bear on my body the mark of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let no man trouble me. Glory to God. It's a warning. Is it what? <laughs> I love that. It's a warning. It's a warning. It don't come near me. Don't come near me. You know, you better don't touch me. You better, because, I mean, you know, when we go to some houses, what is that they put there? They put beware of dog. Yeah. That's a warning. Yes. So is that the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ is upon us. So and one of this, trouble me. Amen. One of these marks is we've got the life of God in Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. The Zoe. Hallelujah. The same life that God has because we're his children. The same life that was made available. To the, body, to the dead body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm, mm. To Jairus' daughter. Mm. The Bible says, and Jesus touched this daughter. He came, she came back to life. Hallelujah. So the yes. power went through the Lord Jesus Christ. So the dead child came back to life. Mm, mm. To the blind eyes. Jesus touched their blind eyes. He said, do you believe that I'm able to do this? They say, yeah, Lord. And they touched their eyes. Even to the woman with the issue of, with the issue of blood. Just from the clothes of Jesus, the, 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 power, the, the, the went. power went. The life power went. Ooh, Something that has been incurable. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we speak to every incurable condition. Let's stretch forward our hands towards the camera. Every incurable blood disease, heart disease, kidney disease, lupus, we command them to leave. Every incurable, multiple sclerosis, Cancers of the brain, cancers of the heart, cancers of the lungs. We command you to be God. Cancers of the bones, be God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Now look at verse three right now. You know, remember he said, "Surely he shall deliver." He said, "For then he will deliver you. For then he will deliver you." Which means, when you believe. You have you seen what you have believed. You're declaring it. That's what activates the power, power. of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Victory over deadly disease. With God the victory. Jesus, the Bible says, thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Amen. What Jesus took, we don't have to be it again. We are healed. We are healed. And forever healed. But for that to be made manifest in your body, you have to believe it. And you have to say it. He said, For then he would deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Mm. <laughs> from the deadly pestilence. And that word pestilence, from the Hebrew word, it means destroying. Mm. Rain, pestilence, plague. Rain. Cattle disease, cattle plague, mm. pestilence, disease, destroyer, mm. and coronavirus is destroying. Mm. Our heart goes to people that have lost their lives, you know. But you, as a child of God, you have to stand your ground. Yes, and take authority. And take authority. There is a difference between believers and unbelievers. Now, we're not saying that to put people that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ down. But, I mean, the, the thing is, there is no life in the world. W-O-R-O-L-D. Great life is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Real life is in the Lord Jesus Christ. So when you understand that, and you say that, then you will see it in manifestation. So we're not making fun of people that don't believe. But you can, you, if you are not a believer, you can come into what? To this place. To, the, to, the, to this shadow, to the, uh, to the under, to under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. You, you, it's all yours. You, you haven't you have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, but Jesus already made it available for you, because He died for you. He died for your sickness, for your poverty. So it's yours. All you just have to do is you have to come into the family first by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So if you're right there, if you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, just say this after all. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I believe that you died I for me. You died and, for you and you arose for my justification. For my justification. I, now I now accept you as my Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. And my Savior. Glory, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because that's it. That's it. There is no any perfect deliverance in the world. W-O-R-L-D. No. Mm. Perfect deliverance is in God is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. You know, by training, we're in the medical business. We understand medicine and all those. But there's no perfect healing from any man. 
That is why our trust should be forced on God. It's not perfect healing because I have a patient that was given the medication mm. for high blood pressure at mm. time, hypertensive medication. Mm. She said she stopped taking it mm. because she started having some adverse symptoms. Adverse symptoms. Mm. So she stopped taking it mm. and I have to tell her, so if you're not going to take your medication, you're going to have to go back to your doctor. Yes. Exactly. So there's no perfect healing mm. out there, but the word of God, will heal, the life that is in Christ, will heal. Just like that scripture says, it will quicken your mortal body. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there's something that always is always funny to me. By the time they are running the commercials concerning medications, <laughs> <laughs> they are running the commercials concerning medications. They will say. It is going to do this. Then eventually they will say, if this, if this, uh, they will say, well, you can, we can watch out. They will start running it. Uh, if you're having palpitation, if you're having this, if you're having that, if you're having that. I will not be saying that, but you just said this medication can do this for me. So there is a possibility that I can also have this oh, from this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's no, there's like, no medication mm -hmm. that has no side so, effects. Exactly. They have side effects. Exactly. They all have side effects. So I will not be saying that, okay, so if there's a possibility that I'm going to have this, it's like you're already telling me that, man, it's up to you. If you want to take it If you want not. to take it or not. But then you need it. You feel you need yes. it because of what you are going to. So you... what should you do? Mm. You either take it and live with the mm. side effect or you don't take it and live with your disease. Mm. But here is the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Hallelujah. The life that heals and heals through and through. No oh. side effect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, love Hallelujah. I love that. No side effect. No side effect. So which means our trust should be primarily... Mm. In God's word, even when you are going to your doctor, That's right. go in faith. faith. Well, somebody's gonna say, "Well, can I go in faith to see go see my daughter?" Yes, you can, because God wants you old, wants you well. <laughs> Thank God for the for the knowledge that God has given us in the medical that we are using to help. So God wants you well. God wants you well. But go in faith. If you are going for, if you have to go for surgery, go in faith. Pray that God will take the hands of the surgeon. And the healing will be speed up, you know, mm -hmm. because there are mistakes. But when God is in there, I'm telling you, no mistake is going to be done. You say, well, how come I cannot just because how come I cannot just believe God for the whole healing because you are not yet in, on that level. So don't don't scold yourself. No, just keep putting the word of God into you, putting the word of God into you. It's gonna it's gonna come to a level that even before you you just handle it by yourself and just find that you're okay. Amen. So there are levels. We faith. grow in faith. We grow in faith. And faith comes by hearing, hearing and hearing this. by the word of God. Yes, yes. So don't don't scold yourself. God wants you well. Don't feel bad that oh I think I trust I trust I trust. The the thing is, real faith, always, real faith in God's word always bring the word always bring the power of God into manifestation. That's right. We are not perfect. We are not perfect. You, you may think you are in faith, but you are not in faith. You may think you are trusting the Lord, but you are not. So but just prayerfully get back to the word of God. You know, and while you are going for your uh, for your checkups, whatever it is, just understand that God can walk through, can walk through the doctor to help you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right, let's declare this. Say, I am dwelling. I am dwelling in the secret place. In the secret of the Most High. I, I am abiding. I am abiding under the shadow, under the shadow of, the Almighty. of the Almighty. And I say, and I say of the Lord, of the Lord is my refuge, is my refuge and, my fortress, and my fortress. My God, my God. In Him, in him I, will trust. I will trust. Surely, surely He will deliver me will deliver from, me the, from snare the, the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. And from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover me he shall cover with me His feathers. With His feathers and under His wings, and under his wings I shall take refuge. I will take, I it's, shall take refuge. It's truth. It's truth. Shall be my shield. Shall be my shield. And buckler. And buckler. I shall not be afraid. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Of the terror. By night. By night. Nor of the arrow. Nor of the arrow that flies by day. That flies by Nor day. Nor of the pestilence. Nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness. That walks in Nor darkness. Nor of the destruction. Nor of the destruction that lays waste. That lays waste at noon day. At noon day. A thousand. A thousand before, before at my side. At my side. And ten thousand at, 10, at my right at hand. At my right hand. It shall not come near me. It shall not come near me. Only 
only with my eyes with my eyes i shall look i shall look and see the reward and see the reward of the re- of the wicked of the wicked because i have made because i have the made lord the lord who is my refuge, who is my refuge even the most even high, the most high, my dwelling place my dwelling, no evil no evil no evil no evil shall befall shall me before no any plague no any plague come, come near my dwelling near my for dwelling, he shall give for he shall give his angels his angels charge over me charge over to me, keep me to keep in me all of my ways in all of my ways in their hands in their hands they shall bear me up they shall bear me up I dash my foot, Lest I dash my against foot the against the stone. I shall tread, I shall tread upon the lion, upon the lion and, the cobra, and the cobra, the young lion, the young and, lion the serpent, and the serpent. I shall trample, I shall trample underfoot, underfoot because, because I have set my law I have set my upon, him. upon him. Therefore, Therefore he will deliver he will him. Deliver he will deliver me. He will deliver me. He will set me on high. He will set me on high because, because I have known his name. I have known his name. I will call upon him. I will call upon and him. He will and he will answer he me. He will be with me. He will be with in me trouble. in trouble. He will deliver me. And honor, and honor me with long life. With long life, he will satisfy, will satisfy me, me and show me and show me his salvation. His salvation. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank let's you, just let's just let's just go. Kalababa ba 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 ba. Let's praise him. Yegele dosh. Lembo sokolia. Karuma sekele teri kavas kali hande kuri ba 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 sekelia. Lendere bos kalinda kuri ma sekele. We praise him. Go 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 go. Thank you, Lord. For your fortress, your refuge, your deliverance from every pestilence, from every disease, thank you, Lord. from every every arrows of the enemy. In the name of we'll Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. We we'll trust in you because. You are a faithful God. Amen. We we'll thank you, God, for your delivering power. Amen. That is made available. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll thank you, Father. Amen. For every disease jam Amen. and virus that touches our body, dies instantly. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are the healed of the Lord. Amen. No sickness Amen. shall bring us low. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have a couple of programs coming up, people of God. Um, February 22nd, we're going to be in Orlando. You know, this is what God has called us into. You know, to have a broadcast like this and also to go around and be a blessing. If you're watching us any part of the world, if you want us to come and be a blessing to you, it's not going to cost you anything. Thank God for great partners that God has given us and has given us. You know, we, we, we desire to take the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the whole world. And God is helping us. Even in our living room, we are doing that through the technology. But physically, we also want to be there too. So, it's not going to cost you anything. Just send us a message. And we'll pray about it. If the Lord asks us to go, we will come. Glory to God. Amen. So, February 22nd, we're going to be in Orlando. It's going to be a youth program, 1 p.m. So, we're going to get the flyer out. So, if you are in that area, you can join us. You know, we're going to be ministering. It's a youth program. You know, we are, we are the guest minister there. Then, March 7th, is going to be Orlando Faith and Healing Crusade. Glory to God. You know, and also ordination service. We have a wonderful man of God, one of our mentors, uh, Apostle uh, Apostle uh, Apostle Jesus, who's going to be around. Glory to God. Then March twenty second, we're going to be with Doctor Tayo Labige at uh, Ocala, Florida. Ocala, Florida is the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the Throne of uh, the is Throne it? of Grace. Throne of Grace. Glory to God. We're going to be there. Then uh, in um, first week in April, probably going to be in. Um, Savannah, Georgia. Then also in um, the May, May twenty third and twenty fourth, May twenty third and twenty fourth. We're gonna keep announcing this. May twenty third and twenty fourth. We're gonna have um, Northampton Faith and Healing Crusade. Myself, Doctor Paul Fakule, wonderful man of God, with the man who is seventy one year old plus. <laughs> Glory to God. And also Pastor Busu Yarosa from Canada. We're going in there, taking the word of Lord to that place. Glory Amen. to God. It's gonna be an awesome time. So just make sure you follow us in all of this program. Amen. And if you have not liked our page, I can tell you we have a ministry page. That is where we are broadcasting from. Please go ahead and like it so that you can always get um, notification when we are online. Also, our YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channels. All of these videos are on our YouTube so that you can get blessed. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God didn't say faith comes by having heart. Mm-mm. No. It is a continuous sense. Continuous thanks. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Father, we we'll thank you for today. We give a praise. Amen. We worship your holy name. We we'll thank you, God, for you will expand your word in the, in the hearts of your people. We we'll thank you because you are for us. Your word says we should not be afraid. Though the mountain skips and the earth be thrown into the sea, it said we shall not be afraid you, because you are for us. Amen. 
concerning any deadly disease, coronavirus, whatever it is, we well, thank you because we have been redeemed from it. Amen. So we proclaim our deliverance Amen. from coronavirus. Amen. We take the immunity of God. Amen. We say no evil shall befall us. No place shall come near our dwelling place. Amen. In our pathway is life and there is no death. Amen. To everyone that is suffering from any type of disease, we command healings to you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We speak to your organs, speak Amen. to yourself. We say be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, For Lord. in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please share the video. Share it, share it. And, and don't forget to have a watch party about it also. Glory to God. All right. Until next time, remember that... Jesus, Jesus is Lord, Lord and, and is coming, coming very, very soon. Shalom. Shalom. Be ready. ready.